YouTube, welcome to the most amazing top 5 where I break down the world into brilliant top 5 lists. My name is Michael McCrudden, sit back, subscribe and let me entertain you. First off I want to hear your opinions. Who's your favorite One Direction band member? I'm going to tell you mine in this list but I want to hear from you down below. Ok let's jump into our list top 5 One Direction band members. This is going to get good. Cause a lot of girls would be like, you're so wrong! In the number 5 spot we have Zayn Malik. At the time of this recording Zayn has actually quit the band altogether. So they might need to change the name of the group from One Direction to Two Directions. Or like Yield, Approaching, Nah, Two Directions, that's better. Zayn Malik was born on January 12, 1993 in Bradford, England to a family of English and Pakistani descent. His family is of Muslim faith and the young stud is engaged to singer Perry Edwards who also got her big break on X Factor. The news of his departure from the band had girls all over the world in tears but you guys have got to pull it together. He's not dead and you still have 4 other One Direction band members. Although he's probably the hunkiest. I mean that guy he is so mysterious. In the number 4 spot we have Louis Tomlinson who has at least 2 or 3 years on the other guys which makes him the old fart of the group. Louis was born on December 24th 1991 in Doncaster South Yorkshire England. As a child and teen he acted and sang on television and in school productions. This guy has at least 7 half siblings because his mother she likes to make a whole lot of babies. That's actually like a crazy talent. Like she should go on the X Factor for that alone. Due to this guy's proximity to getting some grays before the rest of them, well, that's why he got the number four spot. He's still in the band, so you know. In the number three spot, we have Liam Payne, who's taken on the role as the unofficial leader of the group. Everyone's like, uh, can we hear from Harry? And Liam's like, I got this. And they're like, we kind of heard enough from you already. Liam Payne was born on August 29th, 1993, in Wolverhampton, England. He performed Cry Me a River on the X Factor back in 2010 and said the tune was a dedication to an ex girlfriend who cheated on him. Talk about payback. That, and then he went on to make like a million bucks or more. Ouch. That girl's like. Well, at least she gave him the inspiration. I made this all possible. Take me back. <laughs> yeah, good luck. In the number two spot, we have Neil Horn, who's the only member who has Irish blood running through his veins, which actually makes him my favorite of all of them. Is it too late to change this list? Neil James Horn was born on September 13th, 1993, in Mullingar County, Westmeath, Ireland. Now, I myself, I've actually been to the town of Mullingar. I know all about it, and there was another pop sensation that came out of here by the name of Joe Dolan. That dude sang an epic tune titled Westmeath Bachelor. He's like the Irish Tom Jones. This little Irish town seems to pump out nothing but studs, and Neil Horn, he's one of them. My mom was from like the town over. She's a female stud. Mm, ah, yeah, it makes sense to me. In the number one spot, we have the lady killer, Harry Styles. Harry Styles was born in Bromsgrove, Westshire, England, on February 1st, 1994. He first sang in a band and in school competitions. Not only is he responsible for naming One Direction, it is also widely rumored that he slept with the host of X Factor, who was 33 and 16 years his senior. Like, double. Ho 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 ho! What a pimp. Not only does the dude have a way with the ladies, he also has fantastic hats. And underneath those hats, fantastic hair and great eyes. And he's again, he's like really mysterious. Like what's going on in there? I can't figure you out. Oh my gosh, I just turned into a 16 year old girl. <sighs> That's embarrassing. You guys tell me, what did you think about my list? Did I get it right or is it a little mixed up? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. My name is Michael McCredden. This is the most amazing top 5. And if you haven't subscribed to this already, I do not know what you're waiting for. We're pumping out 6 videos a week and they're all different. They're all fun and it's a whole lot of good stuff. So be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.